Hey, it's the Insane Gamers, and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Today, I've got a pretty different battle here against a passerby. Now, my opponent's team is a little bit, um, a little bit mixed. He's got some NUs, he's got some UUs, he's got an OU, and then he's got an Uber. And yes, we all know what that Pokemon is. Just got banned to Ubers, for those of you that don't keep up with the tiers. It is Mega Mawile, and Jesus, that thing's annoying. But anyway... That's for later. Right now, we got the one and only Jasper against his Greninja. Lead Greninja, I knew that I could probably take a Surf, and oh my gosh, did I ever take that. Jasper is an absolute beast, like seriously. He just never dies. So I'm going to go ahead and Earthquake this guy, because Greninja is a pretty big threat to my team. Like, it's, it's powerful, it's fast, which is the biggest thing, and I really don't want it around anymore. So, you know, Jasper just kind of kills it, because he's an absolute beast. <laughs> Oh my gosh, amazing. So anyway, he's gonna go into his Q-tip. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. I, all I know is it likes to use, like, Thunder Wave and... St no, Stun Spore, not Thunder Wave. Yeah, Cotton Guard, Stun Spore, Leech Seed, all kinds of stupid crap like that. He's got the Prankster with the Cotton Guard, so my Ice Shard does, like, negative three damage, which is unfortunate. I should have just set up Stealth Rocks there expecting the Cotton Guard. It's not really like this thing's gonna be a problem at all. I didn't think it was gonna even have an attacking move, but it turns out it has Giga Drain, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get my rocks up, which does really, really suck, but, you know, whatever. I'm pretty sure... Ah, uh, that it doesn't really matter because the, the Pokemon on his team aren't really weak to it anyway. Um, so I do have an answer to this. I'm not really afraid of it. I've got the Choice Specs Pyroar. Or is it, or is it, or is this Life Orb now? I can't remember. I keep switching the items on my Pokemon, so I can never remember what freaking item is what and who has what. I just went straight for the Flamethrower here because I knew it would probably kill it. And, um, well, needless to say, he has a Chansey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that damage. Wow, dang. So I'm gonna send in Crowstorm, the shiny Cacturn. I hatched this randomly. I was actually breeding for Cacturns, and I just happened to get a shiny one, and its IVs are actually kind of good. I think the only thing it's missing is HP and Special Attack, neither of which really matter since Cacturns kind of squish anyway. He toxics me on the Switch. Not a huge deal. Then he goes into Mawile, and now I'm scared because it's a Mega Mawile, and I have a full NUT that I won't be able to touch it. Like, look, that low kick did, like, three damage after the Intimidate. And, well, of course, it's unstabbed. And I don't think Mawile is even that heavy. Uh, it's Steel-type, but, yeah, I don't think it's that heavy. Anyway, I have to switch out of here. I gotta get out. I'm gonna go into Nibbler to resist the possible Steel-type attack. And, um, I actually wanted this in because if he sends in something like Zatu or Chansey again then I can set up on it. So yep, here's Zatu. I'm just going to go ahead and set up a DD because I'm not really sure what it's going to do. I know Zatu likes to calm mind. Mine likes to use Tailwind. It can do any number of things. And of course it uses the Reflect. That's really annoying. So yeah, Nibbler is going to kind of get shut down by that a little bit. And he's just going to go into his irritating as heck Q-tip thing. And let's face it, I'm not going to be able to damage this. I mean, he's just going to Cotton Guard and he's going to have his Reflect up and my Ice Punches aren't going to be doing anything at all. So I should really probably get out of here. But I decide not to switch just in case he wanted to go for a Leech Seed or something. But he just encores me into Dragon Dance. So. Yep, that's kind of annoying. Now that I've seen most of this thing set, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't even pack, like, Leech Seed. Like, I've seen Cotton Guard, Encore, Giga Drain, and it probably has, like, Stun Spore or something like that. I'm just gonna go into Lyona, and there it is. It has the Leech Seed, so no Stun Spore. I don't have to worry about that. Um, so it's an annoying freaking sub seeder, which is annoying, except it doesn't have sub, which I guess is kind of good, because if it had sub, oh my god, I would probably rage. Anyway, um, yeah, I know he's just going to switch into Chansey, obviously, so I'm just going to go back into Crow Storm, because also, Crow Storm completely walls this guy's set, he's got nothing to touch it with, but then again, he walls me, but hey, maybe he thinks I have Poison Jab, he doesn't know that. <laughs> I don't, by the way. <laughs> anyway, he goes into Chansey again, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Time for that low kick, and he doesn't switch, and the reflect is down, and it does... 
less than I expected it to. I thought Chansey was fat, okay? Look how freaking fat that thing is. It probably lives on cheeseburgers from McDonald's. And Low Kick only did that amount? I mean, granted, it's Evia Light and it's tanky. I'm pretty sure Chansey is actually OU now, which doesn't surprise me in the least because it is ridiculously tanky with Evia Light and it doesn't even need leftovers. Anyway, I'm gonna go in a nibbler because I can't really kill this thing with anything on my team besides Nibbler, and I've gotta get a couple Dragon Dances up before I can even think about touching it. God, Chansey is annoying. So, um, if I had a Poison type on my team, it would have been nice. Or even, like, um, a subbing Ghost type, like Spiritomb or something, because Chansey really sucks against, like, Ghost types that have sub, obviously, because I can't break the subs. Anyway, I've got the Lumberry, so that's, you know, one thing of Poison gone. He's gonna switch out now and, um, bring in his, his thing, his Q-tip, and I'm like, ugh. If I'm gonna try to get a Feraligator sweep off here, I need to kill this thing. So I did predict the switch to it and went for the Ice Punch, and it did a lot of damage. Like, my god, that was a lot of freaking damage right there. So I know I'm gonna be able to basically just Ice Punch this thing into oblivion. Luckily, he lets it die, thank goodness. He would, he could have been evil there and set up the Leech Seed to, like, prevent me from switching, but, you know, he decided to be nice and not do that. Anyways, going into this thing now... Um, it's gonna use the Endure, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I knew I could get that because I run one with Endure and Flail, and it's designed to work in a doubles team with a, a partner that has Explosion. It's actually, a, it's actually really, really trolly. Um, anyway, I get the critical hit. Woo, go me, but it doesn't matter since he lives. And then he's gonna get the Salic boost. And now I'm sitting here thinking, what the frick am I gonna do against this? I just go into Crow Storm to sack it off. Since Crow Storm is, well, let's say a little bit useless this game. I, I, I can't really do anything with it. So, unfortunately, my nice shiny cat turn is just gonna get thrown away this battle. Unfortunate. But I'm gonna go into Cantafetus, the tankiest Pokemon ever. Um, as many of you know, I've used Masharna in the past, and I swear by this thing as a physical wall. Look at that. Just took that flame. I'm not even in the red. My gosh. Gonna go ahead and finish that guy off with a psychic. Now, unfortunately for me, this Masharna has Psychic and not Psy Shock, and it has Thunder Wave and not Toxic. So, well, obviously Chansey's gonna come in, and I can't really do anything to it. But first, he's gonna send in Zatu and be a not very nice person and set up some screens on me, which I'm not happy about. I'm gonna go into Indiana here. I don't know why it's called Indiana. Why would I. What? Whatever. Um, <laughs> some of my nicknames don't make sense. Like, I can't remember why I named it that. But, um, anyway, he's gonna set up the Calm Mind. I'm not really scared, honestly. Um, there, okay. That Earthquake. I didn't do that. That was... Uh, <laughs> if any of you know Mike Weedle Twinito, he's another YouTuber, okay? He was watching the battle. He told me to click Earthquake because he thought he was gonna switch in a mall while. So just saying... That was totally his fault. If I had not listened to him, I would have gone for Stone Edge and killed this thing. But that's his fault. Okay, just saying. Now that that's out of the way, uh, and his crappy prediction skills, I finally decided to go for the Stone Edge after the Reflect is up, of course. So, unfortunately for me, it's not gonna kill. And it's kind of tanky, and I... <sighs> I, I don't think I can kill it in another Stone Edge. Basically, <laughs> I've got to hope for a critical here, and i got to hope I don't miss. And look at that. One hit points, just like I thought. Didn't kill. He's going to go for a stored power and just completely destroy my face. So if I had not listened to him and gone for the Stone Edge, Indiana would still be alive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go into Lyona now. And, well, of course, he's just going to switch into the fat woman. The freaking Chansey. I can't... Can't even kill this thing now. Man, is it irritating me. I'm hoping for the burn or something. Anything. My gosh. By the way, um, this thing is in fact choice specs. I remember now. Mostly because it's not taking life orb recoil, so you know it's kind of obvious. I don't know. Maybe it maybe maybe I'm stupid, but I just noticed that. Um, I have forewarn and not <laughs> synchronize. I switched this in. It's expecting the toxic, forgetting that I did not have synchronize. So that's a little bit, um, well, unfortunate, I suppose, and, 
Well, this guy is pretty much useless now. I mean, I, I'm just gonna see, like, he's just gonna S toss me to death, and I'm just gonna see if maybe I can get, like, a power hex on it, or, you know, I'm gonna paralyze it. Maybe I can sit up on it. I don't know. I, I'm hoping for anything at this point, because this game is just not going my way. Uh, I guess this is a pretty good example of why Chansey belongs in OU, because it is just unkillable, especially when I've got a team full of NU Pokemon. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try to get a special D drop here, because yeah, you know, why the heck not? My god, that damage was in fact OP. And there he goes, he goes for the aromatherapy. Yep, he's got that too, so. Unfortunately for me, Chansey's also faster than me, which is kind of weird, I mean... I, 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 okay, I, okay, okay, this, this, this is basically like a floating dead baby, so I mean, how can I expect it to be fast, but I always remember Chansey's base speed being like, you know, five or something ridiculous like that, whatever, whatever, he, kill, he, he defeats my can't defeat us, which, you know, that should not happen in a perfect world, but luckily, that's why we have Walgreens, so then I send in my Nibbler, and I've got to try to set up with Dragon Dances and just sweep him. I'm gonna hope that Mega Mawile maybe is gonna not be a Mega and this guy is gonna be nice and not use uh, Mega Mawile, but of course, you know, it's not gonna happen. In fact, at the time of this battle, it was still OU, so you can't really blame him for using it. I mean, it's freaking ridiculously overpowered. Anyhow, I got one DD. That's all I'm gonna go for because I don't want to get too low. I'm gonna try to get a flinch here with the waterfall and I don't get it, which really, really sucks. <sighs> Sometimes, I I just hate this game. So, um, yeah, poison's ticking down, S toss is ticking down, my, my health is getting pretty dire. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this thing off with a waterfall, and then there's just one obstacle in my way. It's that gosh dang freaking Mawile. Man, do I hate that Pokemon. But luckily for me, this poison is gonna put me into torrent range. So, if I can get a flinch with waterfall and a critical hit, maybe I can win! <laughs> okay, fingers crossed everybody, fingers crossed. There he goes, he's going mega, he is going mega! He's got two heads now. And uh, well, yeah, Mega Mawile, Pokemon, it doesn't even need an introduction, it's overpowered as heck, it's got pure power, it's got Sucker Punch, it's Sucker Punch is more powerful than Arceus's extreme speed. Need I say more? Anyway, he sets up a sword stance this turn, Figuring he can live my waterfall, which he does, because Mawile's base defense is like 5,000, so, um, unfortunately for me, he's just gonna Sucker Punch. I really, uh, actually, here I predicted the Sucker Punch and went for the Dragon Dance, just to show him that, you know, like, I predicted that. Of course, it's not gonna matter since I'm poisoned. I might have been able to get an outplay here, but, you know, whatever. I, um... <laughs> I was poisoned, so yeah. Anyway, I got Lyona left, and obviously Lyona is just gonna die to a Sucker Punch, so you know, I guess good game. Um, once again, I guess it shows why Chansey does not belong in any tier besides OU, and I guess it also shows why that thing's Uber. My gosh, it's just so good. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.